Right, hi and welcome to <laughs> the continuation of the night. Uh, as we make our final push for the dawn, we have five turns remaining. Um, <clears throat> and only six, is it two, four, five? No, only five humans remaining. So five turns, five humans, and a gazillion of zombies. <laughs> uh, right, let's begin. Here's the zombie arrival phase, and three more will show up two and three just two more in the zombie pot All right so let's have a look where they where they spawn number four over here number one where's number one over there and number three right here down in the bottom All right <clears throat> okay so now the uh, human reanimation phase how many dead humans do we have just one Karen over there in the cabinet let's see if she if she reanimates so we need four or higher for her to reanimate oh and she does that's unfortunate because Barbara was running uh, there to get the tire iron and she failed to do so before Barbara is reanimated uh, not Barbara Karen Karen here there you go she has three attack power and two action points so we have a slight chance of defeating her before anything happens. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Zombie action phase now. So let's start with this corner because there's so many. I don't want to miss uh, miss any zombie. Let's start with the ones in the back. So the one that just spawned goes two. And I'll leave it like that upright to indicate that it already moved because all the others will get flipped as well. One, two... One, two, and this zombie is so powerful. Not only is it the breaker zombie, but it's also got seven. So it's like a boss, yeah? One, two. Goes through the window. Comes here. <clears throat> comes there. Um, this zombie will go towards that door. This zombie just, yeah, will just go there as well. This breaker zombie will try to break through these boards. And in order for for uh, for it to do so, the breaker zombie needs four plus to break the barricades, and it fails. So it just stays there. Okay, let's go to this corner of the map now. This zombie spends two action points to get into the room through the window, same as this one, and this one just approaches for next turn to to get in. Right, this corner. Right. So this zombie is not a breaker zombie. It's a normal zombie, so it needs six to break through. And it's a four, so it just uh, fails miserably. This zombie approaches the window above the sink and will try to break in next turn. <clears throat> All right. Uh, zombie that just spawned moves in, same as... Yeah, let's let's start with Judy. Judy goes one, two. She's uh, she's rushing for Barbara to attack her. This zombie goes in, one, two, ready to move in next turn. And this oh, this zombie is already exhausted. Uh, ah, and Karen, of course. Karen will attack Barbara. Okay, red for zombie, white for Karen for Barbara. And let's see who. Uh, wins. Oh! <laughs> Barbara is demolished because it's nine versus five. Right? Oh, terrible. So Barbara dies. Oh, come on. I thought it was going to work out for us, but it didn't. So she's dead. And Karen stays in. <clears throat> Karen stays in the in the in the cabinet. Oh my word. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Let's move on, right? <clears throat> we are surrounded in the room here. We need to do something about that. Tom here doesn't have any weapons, which is unfortunate. We are barricaded here and here and there. We closed off Ben, well, Barbara and Karen. These ladies died. Now we need to... We need to do something. What can we do? Can we reduce the number of zombies somehow? Maybe Ben 
could active ah and let's see how many we can activate because that might be our doom four that's perfect because we have four so everyone everyone gets to go now we can start with ben maybe ben can go one one or even one because uh, humans can move diagonally <clears throat> try and get rid of judy or he can just try and run towards helen and tom hmm. the way he could do that he's right next to the window so he doesn't have to go through here so he goes one two three four five here somewhere this will pull the zombie towards him because zombies uh, go towards the closest hero humans, not heroes. <laughs> Wrong game. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. That's interesting. What are we going to do? Or is he going to stay here and fight? Maybe he can rush through to Harry and help him out. And on his way, he could he could go one, two. Attack Judy for three, four, five, six, go through. Yeah, because then that might be an option, actually. Or he could, oh, he's got the keys, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, or he can go once, no, then he will be. No, so let's do it like that. He will go and help out these guys. One, two, three, four, right? Five, six, and he won't be able to attack. So he stays there and he will pull one of the zombies towards him. That will help out um, Helen, and, Helen and Tom. Now, Harry, what about Harry? Harry, what can you do? You've got a sledgehammer for plus two. Are you going to attack anyone or just uh, kite them? Harry is not a is not a fast mover anyway, so I think and these two zombies are quite strong. They're almost equal in terms of strength. So I don't like the chances, you know, being too close. So maybe he can go one, two, three, four. But these zombies will then try and attack him and they're as far as strength is concerned. <laughs> They're equally powerful. Right, let, let's leave Harry for the moment. <clears throat> what is it that we can do in terms of these zombies? So Tom here will go one and attack hand-in-hand hand hand combat. He will attack uh, this breaker zombie that just got into the room. Oh, come on! <laughs> Nine versus six and Tom dies. Oh, man. No, not, not like that. Like this. Tom, where are you? Ah, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, what can Helen do? Helen, what is it that you can do? There's another window here. She, I, I, I have a feeling she's going to run for it. Right, so she shoots that zombie. But before she does that, she will move one. So it's a... It's a uh, I need a six, right? It's five plus four <clears throat> this zombie is defeated so that was ah no but it, it ends my turn ah can't do it like that so one two three i'll do it like that one two three give me that zombie back and it was a breaker zombie it was here so one two three one action left and i'll shoot one two three four for plus three Right, so <clears throat> let's try again. Two plus three is five. Oh, bugger. Not enough. Not enough to kill that zombie. <laughs> Harry, run for it. One, two, three, four. He just runs for it. I have a feeling I should have run away with Tom through the window and just try and make, you know, uh, get away. Maybe that's maybe that's the strategy for the next playthrough. <laughs> because this one is going to fail miserably, I have a feeling. Mm. Right. We need some coffee to survive until until the morning. Turn number twelve. Okay. Zombie arrival. It two oh, well. Two is the maximum that can arrive. One arrives. 
And when, where does it spawn? Number one, just, just over there. Reanimation, we have two reanimations. So uh, first one for Tom. Yeah, he stands up. Tom, that's bad. Barbara. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, we are overwhelmed. We have three he uh, humans remaining. So now the zombies will get to go. So again, let's start with this with this tile. One, two, one, one. Uh, one, two, through the door. Uh, one, two, we'll run for, for, for this uh, spot. Break a zombie. One, two, one, two. <clears throat> we don't have any breaker zombies here, so one and two. This is boarded up, so one and two. So I think we activated all of them. Yeah, let's start with this breaker zombie. So four plus. Nope. Fails again. Not a good breaker zombie, are you? Eh? <laughs> good for us. So, ah, this one already moved. So one and two. One and two. One, two. Cannot, cannot attack. Same as this one, yeah? <clears throat> so these tiles, they're done, right? Aren't they? They are, yeah. So this zombie will retreat, same as this one, because they heard some noise made by Harry, who went through the window, and they realized, smart zombies, they are, aren't they, eh? One, two. Like that, since since the zombie is already inside. Okay, she goes out like that. There we go. That's all of the zombies. I hope I haven't missed any, right? Let's refresh our humans. And let's hope we roll at least two because otherwise we're dead, right? Six, yes. <laughs> There's only three humans left. And th three more turns to to uh, to survive, right? So uh, Ben here will attack that zombie <coughs> hand in hand combat with chainsaw. So zombie rolls one, I roll four. That's more than enough to kill it, right? So that was his arm, but I can't move now because I used my my thing, uh, my attack. So I could have moved. So the zombie was here. So Ben goes one, Ben goes two, and then attacks diagonally and kills the zombie. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Helen goes for one, two, three, four. She just runs away. She's just too afraid to stay in the house. <laughs> now, what is... Our poor Harry going to do. How is he going to end up with these guys? There's only, well, equal numbers. So I have a feeling I'll go one, two, three. No, that's too close. If, if the last zombie spawns on number three, then I'm too close. Well, okay, let's leave him here. There you go. Turn number 13. Two, two, two. Zombie arrival. Yeah, the one is one is the minimum I can roll, so it spawns at five. <laughs> of course, and it's a breaker zombie with shrink of five. <laughs> like a mini boss. This is the boss. This is the mini boss. Oh, come on. <laughs> we don't have any dead humans that haven't been reanimated yet. No, no, we just get to activate the zombies, right? <laughs> so let's start with this zombie, one, two. So he's in range, but he cannot. No, it's, oh, come on, his free actions. So he will attack, he will attack Harry. Thankfully, we have uh, our chainsaw. So red for zombie, white for Harry, but for Ben. Ooh, that's bad. So eight versus 10. So this zombie is cut in half. Lovely job, Ben. Lovely job. Right. Okay. Now, <clears throat> one, two, one, two, one, two. Right. Uh, one, two. They rush for 
No, oh, he he just got in, so he will get out. One, two. One, two, one, two. They just realized Harry is outside. He will stop banging on the boards and he will go one, two as well. Well, you might as well try. Six, he broke in, right? Managed to do so. So he, he just got in. Uh, one, <clears throat> one, one, two. Uh, they all have been activated. So these guys, uh, like that. Like, uh, let's say like so. Like so. Two and two. So Judy will block the way. So this zombie just stays the. Oh no, she will go this way. And this zombie will go that way. One, two. And one, two. So everybody moved. All the zombies moved. We don't have any humans to reanimate. So it's our turn. Right, how many. Humans, can we activate two? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> right, can Helen see Judy? Yeah, she can. Judy's trying to get uh, through the window. Helen is over there with her shotgun. Range of one, two, three. She can see her, so she will activate first and try to shoot Judy. Judy will not respond because it's not a hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's just ranged, so I need six in total, so two plus. Yep, Judy is killed. Right, well done, Helen. And Helen will stay here. She doesn't need to move. No zombies in close proximity. Now Ben over the over here, he will he will do what? He will do this. He will move in and try and destroy this breaker zombie. So he has nine strength versus three. So there's no way for the zombie to uh, to defeat Ben because um, even if I roll one, I have ten. She rolls six, it's nine. So I won't even roll. It's it's pointless. So this zombie is destroyed. All right, and that's it. That's it for turn number thirteen. Number fourteen. Right, no zombies to arrive. As you can see, boop boop, empty zombie pot. All the zombies are already spawned. No humans to reanimate. They all have been reanimated. So we will just get to move them. As usual, let's start with this tile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this zombie comes in. Our boss is approaching. I wonder if I have any extra points for the boss. <laughs> I don't think I do, but <laughs> just just thinking out loud. So this one goes through. Tom will get to the window. There you go. Um, this zombie moves in like that through the window. Barbara will go here and Karen will get there. Also, these two are trying to get behind Harry. Harry is in trouble. Maybe he will one, two, three, four. I think he will rush in for the for the house. So we're kiting here. Okay. Right. Humans. Four. We can activate all of you. Okay. <clears throat> now. All right. Let's have a look. Um, so I'm looking at Ben here. He can attack Tom and hopefully kill him. Will any of the zombies have a chance to do anything to Ben? Because if I start with attacking, that that um, finishes my that ends my activation. So I don't think any zombies can reach me and attack next turn. And we all the dawn is almost there, so I have a feeling we survived. Yeah. I'll start with Harry. Right. So he goes one two. We won't take any chances. One two three four. He goes back into the kitchen trying to save himself for the next two turns. <clears throat> ben attacks Tom. Red for Tom, white for Ben. All right, boom. Yep, six versus quite a lot. So Tom is killed yet again. Ben finishes his activation. Now Helen will shoot this zombie. So she needs a six, no response from 
the zombie. Well, critical hit. Pff, destroyed. All right. Boom. There you go. Turn number 15. The last and final hour. If we survive this, it's the end of the game and we'll try to uh, count all the points. We'll see if we manage to uh, score any better than uh, on our first uh, playthrough. First successful playthrough. <laughs> Right, again, no zombie spawning because they all have been spawned. No reanimation, so zombies will just get to go. All right. Yeah, let's move them. <clears throat> so they will just do it like that. Oh, what, what happened? Where was this one? I can't remember. I think it was here, wasn't it? Six. Missed this one somehow. Mini boss. <laughs> This is the strongest. So like that, like this, like this. Mm -hmm. I think Harry made a smart move going in and out. We'll see. We'll see if that helped. Yeah, there you go. They all moved. Yeah, they all moved. So, let's see how many humans can activate this turn and score some points before the the dawn breaks. Because that's it. The dawn just one. Ooh, just one. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's Is it better for Ben? No, we won't, we won't uh, take a chance with Ben. <clears throat> we will shoot with uh, Helen. Yeah, and Helen needed six. With her shotgun, eight. This zombie is dead, so we scored one extra point. Right, and that completes our... <clears throat> that completes our turn. <clears throat> and we reached turn 16. And if I'm not mistaken... It's the beginning of turn 16, not the end of turn 16. Let me just quickly double check that. Because if that's the case, we just we just survive the night and we will be able to count the points. Let's just quickly double check. I don't want to make that mistake right at the end. Okay. Where are we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says so. If the turn marker is on 16, then the dawn has broken and the zombies all retreat. Check for your level of victory. Otherwise, advance the turn marker in one, pl one place and start a new turn. Right. We survived until dawn. Three humans survived out of seven. Mm. Okay, so let's have a look at the victory point table. If the hero is left alive, 10 points. Oh, who was a hero? I forgot. Mm, I think it was one of the ladies, either Barbara or Karen. So no, no 10 points. Each other hero left alive, three, 15 points. Zombies removed one point, game ended early. No, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's count how many we have. Two, 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 two. Including reanimated. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I'm looking for reanimated uh, heroes. 10, 12, uh, 16, 18, 22. With Tom and Judy, 22 plus 15 is 37. 37 is terrible. <laughs> but it's not nightmares. So we progress from 27 to 37, right? 10 points progression. And I forgot who our hero was, actually, to be honest with you. I forgot about that. Because we could have scored additional 10 points and we would have broken into the bad bracket. <laughs> Acceptable is 50 plus. Right, so we need to we need to think of um, a way of improving our gameplay. Now, my observations so far: great fun, great game, uh, interesting uh, mechanics, simplified, streamlined. 
Um, I have a feeling that if I start kiting the zombies, especially with the faster heroes, I might outrun them. And I hope it's not the easiest strategy to score the most amount of points because I can kite all the zombies just like I did with Harry. I'll try um, either on or off camera um, this tactics as well. And then I'll go into the optional rules for extra tables of events and scenarios. Um, I think I saw them here somewhere. There you go. You can have <coughs> random events, whatever they are. I haven't read them. I don't want to spoil. If you want to read them, just pause the video. But basically it just randomizes the, um, the encounter, which, um, uh, which, which is interesting. Also dodge mechanic can come into play, character attributes, um, right, and so on. Yeah, there's quite a lot of interesting, um, uh, quite a lot of interesting modifications that you can apply to your gameplay. Well, there you are, 37, terrible, <laughs> according to the victory level table. Um, and yeah, I had fun. Uh, do I still recommend the game? Yeah, I do. It's a it's a nice uh, little game that you can set up quite fast and have some fun, uh, you know, outrunning the zombies and trying to survive the night. Yeah, go ahead and check it out. Um, leave a like if you if you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos or videos of some uh, lesser known games soon to be um, uh, showcased on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, have a nice one, and I'll see you in the next one shortly. Bye-bye.